English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. Actor, actress. Actor, actress. Album. Album. Art. Art. Band. Band Biology Biology Chemistry Chemistry Chinese Chinese Commercial Commercial Computer Science Computer Science Dance Dance Designer 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 Drama, drama, drama. Forever, forever. French, French. Frustrated. Frustrated. Geography. Geography. Grow up. Grow up. Gym. 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 History. History. Japanese 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 Journalism Journalism Lunchroom Lunchroom Math 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 Performer Performer Photography 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 Physical Education Physical Education Physical Education Physics, physics, science, science, Spanish, Spanish, high school, high school, high school, high 
High school. High school. Subjects. Subjects. Elementary school. Elementary school. Elementary school. Elementary school. Subjects. Junior high school. Junior high school. College. 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 University. University. Nursery school. Nursery school. Playground. Playground. Primary school. Primary school. Success. Success. Well known. Well known. Library. Library. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Classroom. Classroom. Computer lab. Computer lab. Computer lab. Artist. Artist. Hairstylist. Hairstylist. Singer. Singer. TV host. TV host. Award. Award. Brain. Brain. Cure. Cure. Disease. Disease. Gain. Gain. Organization. Organization. Pain. Pain. Treatment. Treatment. Angry. 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 Injured. Injured. On time. On time. Scary. Scary. Young. Young. Be born. Be born. Open a bank account. Open a bank account. Spend. Spend. Turn. Turn. Win. 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 Unit 50 Interchange Intro for Sedition Unit 15 Part 1 Where did you grow up? 1. Snapshot Listen and practice Where were these people born? Listen and then repeat Unit 15 where did you grow up? 
Page 100, Exercise 1, Snapshot. Where were these people born? Listen and practice. 1. Takashi Murakami, artist. 2. Shakira, singer. 3. Christian Bale, actor. 4. Marion Cotillard, actress. 5. John Stewart, TV host. A. The U.S. B. Colombia. C. France. D. The U.K. E. Japan. In this exercise, where were these people born? Number one, Takashi. Where was Takashi born? Takashi is an artist, artist T, soft D. Where was Takashi born? Was he born in the USA, Colombia, France, the UK, Japan? So number one, look at Takashi's face, his face, Takashi, and the name. Takashi was born in Japan. So number one, E, Japan. Two, a young lady and she's singing. This is Shakira. Shakira. Where was Shakira born? Shakira is a very famous singer. Where was she born? Shakira. She was born in number two in Colombia. Shakira. Shakira was born in Colombia. The cancer. So number two B. One E two B. Three. A young man. You see a young man. He's wearing suit, tie, shirt, jacket. So this is a suit. This is Christian. Christian Bell. What's his job? He's an actor. Where was he born? He was born in the UK. D. D. For Marion. Marion is an actress. Man, actor. Woman, actress. Marion is an actress. Where was Marion born? Number four, Marion was born in France, C, France, four, C, five, John, John is, John, this is TV host, television host, someone who makes talk shows. TV host, so Mr. John, where is he from? He's from the USA. John is from the USA. A. The answers, number one, E, two, B, three, D, four, C, 5. A. What famous people were born in your country? What do they do? In Egypt, Magdi Yaqub is a very famous man. Magdi Yaqub. What's his job? What does Magdi Yaqub do? Magdi Yaqub is a doctor. He's a surgeon. He has a hospital. He has a hospital in Aswan. He makes surgeries, operation for all the people for free without taking money. This is Mr. Magdiaco, Professor Magdiaco. 
surgeon and doctor. Where was Magda Yaqub born? He was born in Aswan. Ahmed Zuel. Ahmed Zuel is a famous scientist. He won the Nobel Prize. He won the Nobel Prize. He has the Nobel Prize. Where was Ahmed born? Where was Ahmed Zuel born? Ahmed Zuel was born in Egypt. Exercise number two. Look at the picture. What do you see? A young man. He has sister. A young lady. This is mirror. Mirror. She's looking at the mirror. Another young lady. She's reading a magazine. So what's this place? Where are they? They are in They are in hmm, where are they? They are in salon. They are in hair salon. Maybe they are in beauty center. Maybe it's a beauty center. So where? Let's read. Listen, conversation. I was born in South Korea. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Exercise 2. Conversation. I was born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well... Your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. Where were you born, Melissa? Where were you born? Where? The place of birth. The country. Where were you born? I was born in South Korea. I was born in Korea. Oh. So you weren't born in the USA. You were not born in the USA, in America. No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. You were very young. Yeah, I was only 17. I was only 17 years old. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to university right away? No. My English wasn't very good. My English wasn't good. So, I took English classes for two years first. I took English classes, English courses. I took English courses for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Your English is good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Your English is very good too. I hope so. I was born here. I was born in the USA. That is why my English is very good. It's pretty good. Where was Melissa born? Melissa was born in South Korea. In South Korea. Was Melissa born in the USA? No, she wasn't. When did Melissa come to the USA? She came in 2005. 
she was very young she was pretty pretty young how old was melissa when she came to the usa she was 17 years old did melissa go to college right away no no she didn't why because her english wasn't very good did melissa take english classes yes she did she took english classes for two years is melissa's english good now yes what about mr chuck is mr chuck's english good mr chuck's english is pretty good where was Mr. Chuck born? Chuck was born in the USA. His English is pretty good. His English is very good. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Past of B. I was born here. I wasn't born in the UK. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were at the hair salon. We weren't at the cafe. They were born in Chile. They weren't born in Peru. Wasn't equals was not weren't equals were not were you in class yesterday yes i was no i wasn't was your first teacher american yes she was no she wasn't were your parents born in the u.s yes they were no they weren't. Past of verb to be. The past of verb to be present am is are. Past was were. I was. I was born here. You were pretty young. Pretty very. Pretty young. Very young. She was 17. We were at the hair salon. They were born in Chile. I was. She was. I, he, she, it, was. You, we, they, were. Born. I was born. He was born. She was born. You were born. They were born. We were born. Negative. Was. Wasn't. I wasn't born in the UK. The UK. England. You weren't. Very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't at the cafe. They weren't born in Peru. So here. Negative. Negative. To say no. No. I. Wasn't. She. Wasn't. He. Wasn't. He wasn't, she wasn't, I wasn't. You, we, they weren't. You weren't, we weren't, they weren't. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Weren't equals were not. Question was and where? Question if you ask a question was your first teacher American? Was was he American? Was she American? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Was was he was she was it?
was subject answer yes he was yes she was yes it was no he wasn't no she wasn't no it wasn't where were you were you in class yesterday yes i was no i wasn't were your parents born in the usa yes they were no they weren't so were you were we were they answer yes or no we you they if i said yes where no weren't let's check this powerpoint presentation All right, now it's time for today's grammar. And the grammar today is the past of be, was, and were. Now, let's remember that with the subjects I, she, he, and it, we use was for the affirmation and wasn't for the negative. Now, remember all these subjects are singular subjects one person or one thing remember it we use for one situation or one thing all of these are singular subjects and we use was and wasn't for the singular subjects now for the plural subjects for example you they and we we use were for the affirmation and weren't for the negative. Now remember, with you, we can talk about one person, but it's also possible to talk about multiple people when we use the subject you. So because it's possible for you to be multiple people, we use were for the plural subject you. Now remember. For the verb in the present tense, there is, we use this verb for singular things to indicate that something exists. But in the past tense, we use the past form of be and we say there was for the singular form. When we use the plural form in the present tense, there are, in the past, we use the past tense of be in plural and we use there were. So remember, we also use was and were to talk about something existed in the past. The singular form, there was, and the plural form, there were. Very good. Now for the question, we start the question with was or were, and then we use the subject and then the other part of the question. For example, was your vacation nice? Now, in the answer, because this is a yes-no question, we use yes or no, then the subject, then was or were, or wasn't and weren't for the negative. So for this question, was your vacation nice? We can say, yes, it was, or no, it wasn't. Remember, the subject is it because in the question, your vacation is one thing. Very good. Another example, were your parents there? Again, in the answer, we use yes and no and the subject. For this one, were your parents there? The answer, yes, they were or no, they weren't. Remember, we use the subject they because in the question, the subject is your parents, multiple people. Very good. Was, were, born. Was, were, born. Beer. To give birth. 
past tense was were born a and b a where were you born where were you born i was born in cairo i was born in cairo in 1977 i was born in cairo in 1977 So I was born in Egypt. I was born in Mecca. I was born in Jeddah. I was born in Morocco. I was born in Kuwait in 1990. In 1980, Ahmed was born in Sharm. Ahlam was born in 1970. We were born in Egypt. We were born in Egypt. They were born in 1970s. You were not born in Cairo. You were born in Giza. So here Ahmed was born Ahlam Ahlam she was born we were born they were born in 1970s it means 1970 71s 79 Ahmed was born Ahlam was born he she it was born we you they were born Again, he was born. She was born. It was born. He, she, it was born. We, you, they were born. He, she, it was born. We, you, they were born. Negative. He, she, it was not born. We, you, they were not born. Yes, no questions. Were you born in Egypt? Yes, I was. I was born in Cairo. Were you born in Egypt? Yes, I was. I was born in Cairo. Were you born? Were you born in Egypt? No, I wasn't. I was born in Saudi Arabia. Question: Was he? Was he born in Cairo? No, he wasn't. He was born in Giza. Was she born in Cairo? Yes, she was. So here the question with was, was he, was she born? Answer: Yes, no. Yes, he was. Yes, she was. No, he wasn't. No, she wasn't. Yes, no questions. Were you? Were we? Were they born? Yes, we were. Yes, you were. Yes, they were. No, we weren't. No, you weren't. No, they weren't. Was he? Was she? Was it born? Yes, he was. Yes, she was. Yes, it was. Was he born? Was he born in Cairo? Yes, he was. Was she born in Giza? In Egypt, in Giza? Yes, she was. Was Ahmed? Was he born in Kuwait? No, he wasn't. Was Khaloud born in Kuwait? Yes, she was. WH questions. In WH questions, where were you born? Where place? Where were you born? I was born in Cairo. Where Cairo? I was born in Cairo. Where were you born? I was born in Cairo in 1977. When this is time when time when were you born 
I was born in 1976. When were you born? I was born in 1976. WH question. We have question word. Was. Where. Subject. Born. Again, WH question. Question word. Was. Where. Subject. Born. The question word. Where. When. How. Where. Was. Where was he born? Where was she born? Where. Where were you born? Where were they born? Where were we born? Again, a question word. Where. When. How. Was. The subject. He. She. It. A question word. Where. Subject with where we, you, they, born. Quickly answer. Melissa is talking about her family. Choose the correct verb forms and compare with the partner. In this exercise, Melissa, gonna write the answers. You're gonna write the answers now. Then check. My family and I were all born in South Korea. My family and I, we, we were. We wasn't, weren't. Born in the USA. We was not or were not. We weren't. We weren't born in the USA. I was were born in the city of Enchin. I was, I was born, I was born in the city. And my brother, my brother, he, he was born there too. My parents, my mom and dad, my parents, wasn't or weren't my parents, my mom and dad, my parents, they, my parents, Weren't, weren't born in Lincoln. They, they, was or were, they were, they were born in the capital, Seoul. They were born in the capital, Seoul. In South Korea, my father, my father, was where a businessman in South Korea my father he was a businessman and my mother my mother she and my mother was a teacher and my mother was a teacher B Pair work. Pair work. You and your friend are going to do this exercise. Look at the picture. Ask and answer these questions. Look at the picture. What do you see? What's this? Where are they? A boy. A girl. A lady, she's a woman, this is Adam, Sandy, Mark, Mrs. Carter, this is Mrs. Carter, clock, blackboard, desk, chairs, 
box. So, what's this? It's a classroom. This is a classroom. A class in a school. Answer the questions. One, was Adam on time for class yesterday? This is 10 o'clock now. Oh. Was Adam on time for class yesterday? No. No, he wasn't. He was late. No, he wasn't. Was it English class? Was it English class? No, it wasn't. This is math. No, it wasn't. Was it a sunny day? Look at the picture here, the window. It's windy. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a sunny day. It was windy. Was it 10 o'clock? Yeah, it was about 10 o'clock. It was 10.05. It's about like 10 o'clock. Was Mrs. Carter very angry? Yes. Mrs. Carter was very angry. Yes, she was. Were Cindy and Mark late to class? Were Cindy and Mark late for the class? No, they weren't. This is Cindy and Mark. No, they weren't. Were they at board? Were they at the board? This is the blackboard. Were they at the board? No, they weren't. Were the windows open? The windows. Were the windows open? No, they weren't. The windows were closed. So Adam came late yesterday. His teacher, Mrs. Carter. Mrs. Carter was very angry. Exercise number four, pronunciation. Negative contraction. Contraction, shortage. Page 102, exercise 4, pronunciation. Negative contractions. Part A, listen and practice. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. One syllable, one part. Aren't. Wearing. Don't. Can. Can. Done. Two syllables like is, not, isn't, isn't, was, not, wasn't, wasn't. So you have two parts. Does, not, doesn't, doesn't. Didn't, didn't. So here, this word, two parts, but here, this is one part. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. This is number B. You listen the sentence and repeat. Page 102, exercise 4, part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Size 4, Part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Listen and repeat. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry.
I don't like coffee. I don't, I don't, I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. This is not my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. See? Write four sentences with negative contractions, then read them to a partner. So here you will write some sentences, and you will read these sentences to your friends. Example, I didn't go because my friends weren't there. I didn't go because my friends weren't there. Exercise number five. Look at the picture. What do you see? Yes, this is Chuck and Melissa. Where are they? They are in the hair salon or the beauty center. Melissa and Chuck, look at the picture. This is Mr. Chuck and Melissa. They are in hair salon. This is the mirror. And what? What happened? Melissa is very surprised. She's very angry. She looked at the mirror. She's very angry because of her hairstyle. Page 102, Exercise 5, Conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Melissa, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Chuck grew up in Texas. Were you born? Were you born there? Were you born in Texas? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. So I was born in Dallas in Texas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Los Angeles, LA. Where did you come to LA? In 2000. I came to Los Angeles in 2000. How old were you there? How old were you? I was 18 years old. I went to college there. I was 18 years old. I went to college there in Los Angeles. I went to college here. I went to college in Los Angeles. Oh, what was your major? When you were in a college, when you were in university, what did you study? What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. I worked as an actor for five years after university. After graduation. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Love it. Yes, sound. And I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh, this is of course too bad. Now, answer this question about Mr. Chuck. Where did Chuck grow up? He grew up in Texas. Was was Chuck born there? Was Chuck born in Texas? Yes.
Yes, he was. He was born in Dallas. When did Chuck come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old was the Chuck? He was 18 years old. Why did the Chuck move to Los Angeles? Because he went to college. He went to university. What was his major? His major was drama. Was the Chuck an actor? Yes, he was. He was an actor for five years after college. Why did Chuck become a hairstylist? Why did he become a hairstylist? Because he needed money. And he loves to be a hairstylist. What about Militia? Did Militia like her hairstyle? No, she didn't. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.